Welcome back. The long-standing debate over language in Quebec has erupted into a nasty war of words this week. At issue, words themselves and what language they're spoken in. Caught on the crossfire, athletes who are typically judged for their cross-checks. But as Global's Michael Couture explains, they're now being judged for their skills off the ice. The Bell Centre in Montreal isn't usually the arena for a language debate, but the captain of hockey's most storied franchise is being roughed up because he doesn't speak French. A controversial Quebec lawyer believes that Saku Koivu is one of the biggest violators of Quebec's language laws because he doesn't communicate to fans nor the media in French. Now, in his defense, the 32-year-old native of Finland is trilingual. And he does know some French. And I talk to my wife in uh, French when uh, in a uh, writing atmosphere, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Guy Bethnal's comments were made at the commission looking at reasonable accommodation in Quebec. And the debate has intensified so much recently that Premier Jean Charest wrote an open letter in several Quebec newspapers accusing the opposition parties of fanning the flames of intolerance. Just last Les week, Parti Québécois leader Pauline Marois introduced a controversial bill that would limit the rights of immigrants who don't speak French. You know I am not intolerant. Uh, I think I am um, one person which is a democratic person and I want to have this debate at the right place. But the editorial board at the Journal de Montréal newspaper thinks that a locker room is the right place for that debate. That's why they published a complete list of the Montreal Canadiens roster and instead of stats, well, you can see if your favorite player speaks French or not. It certainly annoys people that Sekou Koivu would not be able to communicate with his fans. You know, imagine someone, the biggest star for the, for the Maple Leafs, unable to speak English, so it's a little bit incongruous. But Koivu's teammates think that it's just about selling newspapers. He raised so much money for cancer for all these kids, and, and to go like that, and it, it just sounds kind of weird that he, how he's done so much for charity work, and now we've got to talk about this. But this is what people in Quebec are talking about, whether or not you are only a Quebecer if you speak French. And it seems that even the captain of Quebec's beloved hockey team is not immune to the politics of reasonable accommodation, even if he is just in this province to play hockey. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Montreal.